Hi, I'm Ryan Szymanski, curator for the Battleship New Jersey Museum and Memorial. We're in the middle of a stretch of 90 degree days here on the Delaware River, so we're dreaming about icebergs. Today we're going to compare the Battleship New Jersey to RMS Titanic. Titanic was built in 1911, completed in 1912. The Battleship New Jersey was started in 1940 and completed in 1943. Despite all that time between the two vessels, they're very similar in size. Titanic was 882 feet long, 9 inches, whereas the Battleship New Jersey is 887, 7 inches. Whereas we displaced 57,000 tons, the Titanic came in just a little short at 52,000 tons fully loaded. She was also nine stories tall, whereas the battleship is 18 stories tall with her tower-like superstructure. Iowa-class battleships feature massive armor. We're going to talk about that later. They also feature massive redundancies. For example, there are four different places you can steer the ship from. High up in the superstructure, eight stories above the main deck, is a position with wide open windows where you can see where you're going, but it's got no armor plate. So in combat, control switches to the armored conning tower four decks above the main deck. While that does have view slits cut into it, those are more for ventilation than for seeing where you're going. If that space is rendered inoperable, control switches down here to central station, three decks below the main deck inside the armored citadel of the ship. Finally, Steering can transfer to aft steering, where the hydraulic ramps for steering the rudders are located. Now, the issue with most of our steering positions is you've got zero visibility. Traditionally, that's fine for a ship at sea. There's nothing to run into out there. You're steering based on your gyroscopic compass, and that gets you close enough. Obviously, because we're talking about Titanic today, we know that not being able to see where you're going was not necessarily a good thing. Well, next we're going to talk about armor on the ship and why the battleship New Jersey could probably survive an iceberg hit where Titanic couldn't. Whereas Titanic had 16 watertight compartments with automatic doors similar to this one, the Battleship New Jersey has closer to a thousand individual watertight compartments. Titanic had a double bottom and a single layer of shell plating. The Battleship New Jersey has a triple bottom and her shell plating features five layers of armor and void spaces. The first layer is inch and a half thick special treatment steel. Inside of that is a fuel tank followed by another layer of high tensile steel, a fuel tank, another layer of steel, a true void space that leaves room for buoyancy or for counter flooding, then the armored belt. We're seeing the inside of the 12.2 inch armored belt on this side of it. Another void space where we're standing, and then the holding bulkhead, which is on this side. If we start to flood on one side of the ship, we can counter flood from that side into void spaces on the other side. We also have pumps that can pump water out of the ship in an emergency. We're eight levels above the main deck on the battleship inside of the number one smokestack. Behind me, you can see our number two smokestack. That's another difference between these vessels and Titanic. Iowa class battleships only have two smokestacks. They only have eight boilers four of the boilers vent into this forward stack where I'm standing, and the other four into the aft stack. Titanic had three times as many boilers, and she had four smokestacks. However, only the forward three actually blew smoke. The White Star Line added a fourth dummy smokestack to Titanic because Canard Lines, Lusitania, and Mauritania had four smokestacks. So they didn't, didn't want their ships to seem less powerful. As it was, Titanic could make 24 knots, an Iowa-class battleship makes 33 knots. We're also powered by fuel oil, whereas Titanic was coal-fired. 
that fuel oil forms an integral part of our defenses in our exterior fuel tanks. It's some of the liquid that can be pumped around to counter flood in an emergency. Titanic didn't have that luxury. Behind me in Philadelphia, you can see the Independent Seaport Museum and the protected cruiser Olympia, one of the most similar ships to Titanic left in existence in terms of engineering. If you come back and join us next week on Thursday, July 18th, we will be conducting a joint tour with the Independent Seaport Museum talking about the engineering on Isle class battleships, as well as on Independent Seaport Museum, Submarine Bakuna, and Cruiser Olympia. The tour will be led by myself and my counterpart across the river, Craig Williams. Also, be sure to stop by our gift shop where you can buy Battleship Hawaiian shirts, which are great for these 90 degree weather days. And this is the only place in the world where you can buy Battleship Hawaiian shirts in female cut. Remember to check back in every Friday for more content and stop by sometime and see the tours we're giving.